Welcome back. I've got a DVD Blu-ray collection update and a little bit of news. First up, uh, Severn is releasing Blackenstein, the 70s classic must-own film. I think it's coming out in June, maybe, but it's loaded with special features. Uh, Mondo Macabro has a number of things that are on sale right now directly from their website in their very limited editions. Uh, Inquisition, the Paul Nashie film, uh, is limited to, I think, 600 and some copies, and it's it just went on sale today. Uh, as well as uh, the Jess Franco double feature, which my friend Xbox Baba One alerted me to. It's got uh, two cuts of the Countess Perverse film and then How to Seduce a Virgin. Uh, and then finally, there's a German ridiculous gangster exploitation serial killer movie, Black Friday, that uh, that uh, Mondo is releasing as well. So those look really good. Uh, a bunch of other things are coming out in June and July that look exciting, but uh, those are the things that really stood out. All right, let me, let me show you what I've uh, got in for the last couple weeks. First up is The Pit, which I have not seen. I've heard a lot about it. It's kind of a strange film, I understand. Uh, the boy's kind of freaky in this, but yeah, I'm looking forward to checking out The Pit. Next up is some Jess Franco. Jess Franco. This is another, I don't have a, I, this was a copy of um, Jack the Ripper that I didn't have. It has some special features that I wanted to check out. This is the full moon release. This is a really good uh, Franco film. And, I mean, Klaus Kinski, you know, just all he's got to do is be on screen and it's magnetic stuff. So Franco, Nero, and Django. Blue Underground. Uh, another Spaghetti Western. This is with my buddy Klaus Kinski, and it's a bullet for the general. Yeah, that looks good. Loaded with special features, it looks like. Another Spaghetti Western. I was on a kick, I guess. Django Kill. This is another Blue Underground release. Uh, sparse special features on that. Then I picked up Psycho Circus Triple Feature, Three Rings of Terror. I've seen a number of people have already picked this up. I'm a little late to the party, but it's got Creeping Flesh on it, which is a interesting amicus film from the 70s which i saw at the drive-in by the way so yeah looking forward to see what the um picture quality on the creeping flesh looks like then i got a uh, a gift from somebody a friend of mine sent me the mummy legacy collection on dvd it's the dvd i mean uh, honestly i mean when you look at the you have to just be really, really nuanced, in my opinion, to see the difference between Blu-ray and, and DVD quality on these old Universal films. Um, it's there. I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to deny it, but I mean, you'd have to be a, think to, a, a real purist to really appreciate the differences. But I, I've got the Universal Blu-ray set, and uh, I've compared it to the old DVDs and legacy editions. I mean, I think these are adequate. I don't, that's just my opinion, but I think they're adequate. Then I picked up uh, more 88 Asian uh, films. This is um, Black Magic. Of course, I just got through watching Peking Man, which was fantastic. This is Black Magic. And then another 88 Films release, Seating of the Ghost. And I believe that completes what's out, at least as of right now, for the 88 Films releases. But their Asian, their Asian releases are excellent. Hey, well, most of everything 88 Films is excellent, but I love their Asian releases. And then finally, I got my copy of the, which I've seen a lot of people show this off as well, The House came in. 
This is the collector's edition from uh, Arrow with the book and the four films. Um, the first two films were really, really good, and after that it kind of dovetails off. But, yeah, that's kind of a must-own. Okay, well, that's it. That's a relatively brief update, and appreciate you watching. I'll be back soon. Thanks.